Hi! So we are back with the next installation. Let's do part two of how to make a webtoon for beginners using Clip Studio Paint. We're gonna I'm gonna show you the next action steps for making a webtoon background with 3D models. <laughs> we did our last action steps, or I shared my last action steps, which was adding the 3D model to our page, you know, and then um, what was the other action step? Add in the 3D model and then picking our camera angle. Now I want to show you what I do next from there. Again, you don't have to use Clip Studio Paint. You don't have to use 3D models. If you don't have Clip Studio Paint, you can still make a webtoon. If you don't have a computer, you can still make a webtoon. Like I said in my last video, I will use sticks and dirt to make whatever art I want to make to access the dopamine that my brain is withholding from me. So yeah. So let's, let's, but we're, let me, let me, let me reel it back in. Let me show you what I do, how to turn a 3D model and make it look like more anime eye, more like a webtoon background. Pizzazz, 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 sparkle. Anyways, let's go. Say hi to Cintiqua. Here is our 3D model background. Like I mentioned before, we are using Clip Studio Paint. I will cover my webtoon process using Ibis Paint on a tablet and using Metabong paint. For those who don't have Clip Studio paint, I'll cover that in the different series. But for now, we're doing Clip Studio paint series. So, any hoodles, here's our 3D model that we did in the last video. See right here, Issa 3D model, right there. We already picked our camera angle that we wanna do. Now, here's how I get from this to this. I wanna show you two action steps that I want you to do, okay? And then we'll go from there because we're gonna keep it super beginner friendly so it's not overwhelming, or at least beginner friendly in my opinion. But any hoodles. So you have your 3D model. We are now going to turn this 3D model. We're gonna go up here to layer. What I like to do, I like to duplicate my 3D model layer because my anxiety gets anxious. And I'm like, well, what if I mess something up and then I gotta re-put the 3D model and repose it and everything. So I just, I duplicate it so I can have a backup. You don't have to duplicate it if you don't want to. If your computer cannot handle it, then don't, you don't have to duplicate it. Just ignore that step that I just did. But anyways, I like to duplicate it. And then what I do next, I will either right click and I will rasterize it, or I can go up here to layers and then I can go right here to rasterize it however you say that word now that it is rasterized sorry again if I'm saying the word incorrect you guys you guys still love me right now that it's done that thing I go to edit and then I go down boop, 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 to here tonal correction and then I'm gonna go over down to here color balance now why do I do that my brain likes how it looks. So what I do, since I want this to be a rainy scene, I want it to feel like it's nighttime. And it gives it this like anime effect that I personally like. Other people might not like it, I like it. And this is what I did with my background. So after I did that, I then go over here <laughs> and I go to blue. And then I go over here and I want a little bit of cyan. Cyan? I want a little bluer blue. And that's what I do. Why do I do that? You'll, you'll see, you'll see. So then I click OK because we're doing a, a rainy scene, a rainy scene. So just to go over our three, our step that we just did, we select our 3D model. We want to rasterize it because we're changing the color. We want to rasterize it. After you rasterize it, you want to then go and go to edit. Go to tonal correction and we want to go to color balance because we're doing a nighttime scene we're doing a nighttime rainy scene okay now that we got that we did our we did our first action step your next action step you're going to add materials pre-made images that clip studio paint provides do not worry if you're worried about the licensing and whatnot clip studio paint has terms of usage and all of that on their website so all of these that background right there, that's a material. I didn't draw that rain. That is a material. Same thing with these trees. These trees, they're all materials. I, di I didn't draw these trees. All I did was plop the material on there, did the color balance, and boom. So I'm going to show you what I, what I, I'm going to, I'm going to show you that step. Let's put our rasterized color balanced image. Our next action step is we're going to go back to windows. 
we're gonna go all the way down to material and just click on anything it's fine just click on anything because you want to get that pop-up window if for those who like don't have the arrow right here that's why I show you that method but any hoodles next I'm gonna go here to image material I'm gonna drop down that little arrow and then I'm gonna drop down this illustration arrow and then I'm going to click nature because I want trees and nature and backgrounds so this is your next action step pick a pick whatever background image you want pick whichever one you want like I could put this as a background I'm going to take it drop it and look it's now a nighttime scene Ooh, ooh, you see that looks nice so pick that's what your action step is pick whatever background material you want drop it there now it's going to sh for mine to show up all the way down here i'm going to drag it up so i can show you what it looks like for those of you who are like it's covering over my image that might be because it's over top of your layer so you're just gonna like that see there you go so that's what your second action step is i want you to now go to image materials pick a background that you want we can even do this kind of background and see it's down there again so I'm going to bring it back up you see how it wasn't showing we're gonna bring it right here and now it's showing you might be like that looks weird no worries remember in our other videos we showed how we can change the size of stuff using our object tool we can also do change the size of our 3d models we can also change the size of the image materials using the object tool and boom you see so you don't have to use a transformation tool because you see these little dots sorry if i'm shaky i'm i'm sick <laughs> but you see we can just shrink it and expand it and transform it like that <laughs> but yeah so just pick whichever background you would like and then the next thing that I like to do that gives it like that more like anime scene look that I've seen like in other anime backgrounds <laughs> for my webtoon background I like to go to flowers and plants and then this these this is actually the trees that I use I just plopped it over top and then all I did was just make it bigger see that that's all I did I just took it and then I took this one and I dragged it and dropped it. So those are your action steps. Find your materials that you want to use in the materials section that I showed you and drag and drop it. Now you might be like, but the color, this looks a little bright. What do I do? Same thing that we did with the 3D model. Whew. We're going to go to layer and we are going to rasterize our image materials that one's rasterized now we can go to edit tonal correction color palettes and i'm going to do the same blue setting i'm going to put it there and then give it some cyan see let's see if you can see the difference oops this tree right here on off on off see that nice and that's how I can get the tree to like blend in more but yeah so that's that's your action step Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm still under the weather still kind of sick <laughs> so I'm so sorry if those if the screen was like shaky cuz I'm still nosh the air quality has been been terrible here so I've been nauseous lightheaded dizzy and I've thrown up and fever and just it's it's but I'm fine I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm so alive and I'm so fine and so living. So yeah, those are your action steps. Let's see, let's go over them one more time because I'm the autism, I repeat myself and just you bear with me. So our action step is we are going to take our 3D model. We are going to rasterize it, rastalize it, ra raster. I think that's what the word is. If not, that's what I'm calling it. That's what I'm calling it. And then after we rasterize it, we go to our color balance and we are going to pick a color. Since we're going to do a nighttime scene, we're going to do that one. If you might be wondering, hey, what about all the other scenes? Morning and afternoon. Well, like afternoon, I like to use red. So, okay, okay, this is what I'll do. I can do another YouTube series where I am showing you all the different types of ways that I make like 
anime webtoon backgrounds using 3D models. Because I did, I had like the speed paint one and someone had left a really good comment um, asking if I could like show a step by step for how I do the webtoon background one. So I'm like, yeah. So well, if you are wondering, well, what about all the other like style of background, like, afternoon, morning, evening, and so on and so forth. How do you make the 3D model look like that? We shall do another YouTube series after we finish this series. And then there's also another YouTube series that I want to do because someone on TikTok had asked me, like, how do you go about publishing your webtoon on your own, like, website? So I have another YouTube series that I want to end up doing on how I make my website for sharing my webcomic because I shared on, I share, like, snippets on my website. And then I also, like, I have a link to like my store. It's like a whole business funnel that's dipping into the business aspect of it. So let me just dial that back. But in you I can share how I make my website and how um, I post my snippets of my comic up there. I could post the whole comic up there, but I like using, I like just mirroring Webtoon and to pass this platform um, because yeah. And <laughs> there's not much of a reason. I just, I like funneling traffic from their platform onto my, I am going off subject. I am sorry you guys. Any hoodos, hopefully you can do your action steps. Rasterize that 3D model and slap a color balance. Add your image materials and then see what it looks like and see if you like it. And if you don't like it, that's okay. Do what you like to do. And again, we will cover Metabong and Ibis Paint. Those are the other two programs that I use. I don't, I, I don't have experience with Procreate. So I'm sorry for those who are like, what about Procreate? I'm, I don't, I don't use Procreate, but there are people who do use Procreate. So yeah, <laughs> so, okay. I'm sweating and I'm getting sicker. I'm going to go, but hopefully you guys, hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. 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 Family night, game night. We're playing life. Only dollars. Then it could I'm be, in debt. you just happen to and see how much you get. You hope you land on a seven. Nine. What's a nine? What's a nine? Nothing. <laughs> you won't get jack squat. <laughs> Enjoy your husband. Yeah, you have a degree, you get 60,000. Yeah. Just because I chose to start a business, I get punished. Three, four, five. I'm in debt now. Win the lottery, collect $96,000. And payday, yeah. <laughs> payday for me is 50 grand. Yeah. That's a hundred and forty-six thousand dollars. That'll be enough to pay off all your debt. You gonna give me some money? <laughs> your turn. <laughs> okay, nine. Okay, let's see. He did collect two thousand dollars to keep it to try for three hundred thousand. Ah, oh, man, I do. I'm already in debt. Man, nothing good has happened since I got married to this blue thing right here. I gotta pick a number. Um, you have two numbers to put your all ten right, grand. Alright, put it on the. Four and a eight. Just so you guys all know, too, the other meaning of that is so whenever anybody spins the wheel, nine, if you want nine, to, before okay. they spin the wheel, they can eat. Well, if they get my money, that's my money. It's my money and I need it now. Okay. So this is, this is for betting. So okay, when, I'm a, hey, hey, wait, so let me spin. If anybody else wants to bet on anybody else spinning, no. you can you can put your own money down on, like, let's say no. orange. No, so, I get like, all of it. So, I am broke, and you are trying to make bets. And so you have can, money, and I have nothing. To land on the this is my spin, and y'all just being a bunch of little that, leeches. That, if, if you don't, if I am at the bottom of the bucket, right and y'all are just, just <laughs> piling on me like a bunch of crabs. If you, if you have covered the number, he just keeps going. I owe. 60,000. You wanna know how much I got? I got I pay 10. If it lands on any of those, because of her lucky day, but you and me, anybody else bets on there gets 10 times whatever they put on there. How you gonna put on money it. on? I'm in the bucket, the dirt we and trenches. We could potentially all not get anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm gonna hope so. Four or an eight. I was not about to sell my husband. We are happily married with $30,000. I will go ahead and pay off my 60,000 debt. You want to for money? Yes, you give me money. Give my money. But this is 10,000. I need 300,000. That's 40,000. Why are you telling them the additional house debt? I could have got a free house and not have to pay the bank. Uh, I got to do that and your two payday, so. No. Your two for you. This is what happens when you win the lottery. All your leeches just come out, take them a money. From 40,000. 
Oh. So that means you gotta pay sixteen thousand total. He just said I'm getting money. You taking money? <laughs> Give me. Stop touching my money. What? Dad won. I guess. Give up on